Hey guys, this is Nathan Graves 989 and welcome back to Let's Play Splatterhouse. In the last episode, we got deeper into the West Mansion, we killed our first mini boss, and we did some upgrades to our character. And in this part, we're going to keep on going through the West Mansion and try to save Jennifer. Yeah. And I myself Zero Master LP and back. No! Just to, uh, you know, be here as support and make sure Nathan talks. Even though you haven't been fucking talking during this yeah. last couple of LP parts. Yeah, well now I'm going to be talking a lot more, because I've been... Oh, I, I don't want to interrupt Knife to the head! <laughs> See, just like that. I don't want to interrupt you. And yet he still lives and pulls it out with no problem. Oh yeah, I'm just bleeding all over the place. I think that's what I'm going to need in this part. <laughs> pull, it, pull it out with, with no problem. That's what she said. And we unlocked the survival area. The West Mansion Lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. We gotta stop. And say hello to the loading screens. Hooray, loading screen. I heard this game has meh loading screens. They're really long. Since you, so pray since you have a time limit, um, when you start doing parts without me, you might want to just cut the loading screens out. That's what I plan on doing. Phase two, the doll that bled. And we're gonna be starting in the sec on the second phase of the game. And we missed a and we missed a piece of Jen's picture. So oh well. <laughs> like I said, I was originally planning for 100, percent but that didn't go so well. Now did it? <laughs> Let's go down the drain. Oh, stop yawning, man. <laughs> oh, and I fucked up my control control stick shaking. Shit, Wait, I'm gonna punch the fuck out of you. Punch him so hard he no longer wants to fuck. Aw, oh, damn, I start off with zero blood. That sucks. Uh, why's that? Because the game hates me. This will happen in whenever you start a new face. Because you hate games, you. Exactly. It's because I'm brown. <laughs> Common Rider El Mexicano. That <laughs> <laughs> was terrible last night. Oh my god. You know what's funny? We like we made mention to the horribleness of last night and today's recording for the Tokusatsu Corner. Oh god, really? Yeah. This is probably going up after Tokusatsu Corner, right? Uh, actually, it might be going up before because uh, some of you don't know. We record the corner every every Monday, but well, we post it up on Saturday because I don't feel like spending all my week just mixing and doing other shit. <laughs> oh, let go of me, you son of a bitch. I'm being ambushed. I just want to be your friend. <laughs> uh, why am I sucking? You do the speed kick. No, there's no speed. You you don't you never kick in this game. It's you only throw punches. Oh, so they took the spin kick out. <laughs> Why would they do that? The spin kick. Well, if you could get it to fucking work. <laughs> I I actually when I played Splatterhouse three on emulator, excuse me, I actually got it to work regularly. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, I almost burped there. Stop burping, man. No. Um, I heard that once you get the hang of it, it's easy, but like, figuring it out is the tough part. Oh yeah, it's a pain. And we found the first piece of Jen's picture in this level. And in this picture, she has black hair. Oh. And you know what? Let's kill... Oh no, we can't. Uh oh. Ugh. All right. As you see here, there are two blood ciphers here, but only one of them is the true one. How do you find out? How do you find out which one is the real one? Go to the side of the room. I believe it's this side, and do your blood cipher. And on the floor, there will be a marking that'll show you the true blood cipher. Well, and I can't see because I can't see your screen right now. But... Well, I'm telling the audience who, are, who can actually see me. And we found the correct cipher. And voila, stairs. 
Stairs! Out of nowhere! No, that's chairs. What am I talking about? Game's kind of glitchy, too. Well, it's it's not perfect, but... Right. And we've reached the first 2D segment of this game. Oh, oh stop yawning, man. Jesus, I heard the 2D segments suck. And we've got our first machete. And the two the two D segments are okay. What suck are is the are the jumping, because you have to jump with momentum, unlike original platforming games. And got some more boar worms. Slice and dice our way through these guys. Sorry about that. Just had to move my chair a little bit, so I thought I'd mute. Being considerate of the others around me. That's what I do. And yeah, and actually, this game, this game comes with the original three Splatterhouse games as well as this remake. So basically, if you buy this, you're getting four games for the price of one. And depending where you buy it, there will there will either be a code for you to download the games. But you could just unlock the games as you play, as you just play the game as regular. Oh yeah. And right here, we're gonna have to sprint across these traps. To sprint once again, hold down right trigger and hold down left thumb six, and and I ran into ran into spikes. And do a somersault there. Break through more barrels. Alright. Here's our first challenging jump of the game. Oh, and God. jump! We made it. Oh, thank God. And jump! Jump! Oh, crap! Jump! Oh. Slide! Slide! Oh, Mega Man 8. I, I nearly got hit there. That was really close. Run! Jump! Oh, I made it. And run, jump, made it again. And run, jump, fucking Medusa head. No. <laughs> Thank God there are no Medusa heads in this game. Otherwise, I'd be pissed and like throw it across, throw the, my controller across the room. Castlevania, I hate you, but I love you at the same time. <laughs> jump. Ha! That's funny. More spikes. Run past them. And we're back in 3D. And oh. we reach the checkpoint. Oh yeah, back to what you were saying about um, the three other games. I heard that they're it doesn't take that long to unlock them though. All you have to do uh like you beat a few, you beat a couple levels, you unlock the first game. Beat some more levels, you unlock the second game. Beat more levels, you unlock the third game. It's basically beat the game and you get all three games, yeah. essentially. Mm -hmm. And through here, lift up these gates with our massive strength and not steroid biceps. And do what Rick do, does best. Kick the shit out of the things. <laughs> uh, uh, actually, that's a new one. I never, I never heard that one before. What? Uh, the mask said, "Any last words? Too late." <laughs> that's great. And that happened right when I was ripping this monster's mouth open. <laughs> Talk about perfect timing. Ha. Huh. And that yeah, Rick has a lot of damage on him right now. I think you could like see his liver. Oh. I hope he doesn't drink anything. Game. You know, if I can, I would like do these LPs with with a can of Dr. Pepper and just like call the series LPs with Dr. P. <laughs> I know, really bad. <laughs> and crush your head. Why don't you just call it Let's Mexican? God damn. 
And we found a second piece of Jen's picture, and it, we basically get see the bottom half of her body. I don't know any other way to word it. Mm. Black box. She's wearing pants. She's wearing pants. <laughs> oh no, black box. <laughs> I just noticed Rick has some broken ribs. Holy shit. Yeah. Just use the Zoro method of uh, healing. Bandages, Bandages solve <laughs> everything. Grab the enemy, hold down the Y button so that you could aim, and kick him into the spike. Gotta love how some of these, how a lot of these puzzles involve impaling, impalement. Oh yeah. Well, you have to. It's Splatterhouse. The house ain't splattering, you ain't doing it right. Also, you have like less than four minutes left. Okay. Just so you know. And the second spike appeared. And now we do the same thing grab an enemy, grab an enemy, there we go. Aim. And. Damn it, I missed. Let's do this again. Grab an enemy, aim, and kick him into the spike. This is a puzzle you're doing, right? Mm-hmm. Puzzles in this game aren't very deep, it just involves killing and impaling things. It's, it sounds like a, it sounds like some of the puzzles in Shaolin Monks on PS2. Yeah, I never played that game. Pretty good game. You should check out the LP on uh, Power Pals Incorporated. <laughs> or Power Pals Inc. You whore. And we got ourselves another machete. Hey, you have a couple thousand subs. I'm allowed to whore a bit. <laughs> yeah, but who knows how many of those are like closed accounts or banned accounts. Or people who are like, I want more interviews. Or sub for sub. I, actually, the first few subscribers I have were sub for sub people. Did you sub back? Fuck no. <laughs> Good man. Oh, great. We got another mini boss, and it's the same type as last time. Can you beat him in less than three minutes? But I have a weapon, so yes, I can. Because that's all the time you have. Actually, two minutes now. Oh no, you didn't. Oh yes, I did. And we're gonna rip his head off. And shit down his neck. No shitting down the neck. This isn't Duke Nukem. Hail to the king, baby. And kill a couple of his buddies with his own head. <laughs> and we're we're gonna we're gonna end the part with more upgrading. Yay! Yay! And let's see, we'll upgrade fast attacks and. Heavy attacks, and that's all that we can really upgrade. So let's pause the game here, and that's gonna do it for this part. So next time on Let's Play Splatterhouse, we're gonna keep on trekking through the West Mansion to save Jennifer. I'm Nathan Graves, nine eight nine, signing off. I love how you pause the game, by the way.